keyword that I try my absolute best not to overuse, that way it doesn't diminish the power and meaning behind it when I'm talking about music, is the word masterpiece. Looking back at my old videos, I realized that I used the word masterpiece quite frequently whenever I was discussing an album that I thoroughly enjoyed. It made it seem as if this word had like no real weight or significance attached with it whenever I said it. And while yes, we can use the argument to the cows come home that music is subjective, I feel like when it comes to using the word masterpiece when describing an album, there needs to be some form of merit attached with that album. Because even by definition, it seems to be a really significant word. That it's either a work of outstanding artistry, skill, or worksmanship, or a piece of work by a craftsman accepted as qualification for membership of a guild as an acknowledged master. Over the years, I've realized that I've used that word less and less when talking about music, even towards albums that I consider to be 10 out of 10s and perfect. For example, Blood and Sun, Love and Ashes was my album of the year for 2020. I adore the living hell out of this album, and I think it's just really well done neo-folk. But would I consider this a masterpiece? Honestly, no, not at all. If anything, the only folk album I've ever heard that truly deserves the word masterpiece would be Comus's debut full-length album, First Utterance. The musicianship skill being played throughout every instrument and just overall compositional work is just incredible. Nothing short of it. This takes like true masterful skill to come up with stuff like this. But yet, if you were to ask me would I rather listen to Comus's first utterance or Blood and Sun's Love and Ashes, 9 out of 10 times, I'm going to choose Blood and Sun over Comus when it comes to my playlist. As for black metal, to be brutally honest, there's maybe at the most half a dozen albums that I would consider to be a masterpiece. But one that comes to mind that I think truly deserves that title is Abigor's full-length album, Channeling the Quintessence of Satan. When it comes to musicianship skill within black metal, Abigor is second to nobody. They are true masters at their craft when it comes to creating black metal. And Channeling the Quintessence of Satan, I feel like is really where they peaked in terms of songwriting and composition and musical ideas because I really can't think of any other bands or black metal musicians out there that can even perform what is happening within this album. It's truly one of a kind. Yet, if you were to ask me if I consider this to be my personal favorite Abigor album or if it's my personal favorite black metal album, honestly, no. And to be honest, this isn't even my favorite Abigor album. I still prefer Knock Them In Over It. And there's quite a handful of other black metal bands and albums that I personally enjoy over Abigor. The last example of what I consider to be a masterpiece has some similar merits compared to the previous two albums that I just talked about in terms of musicianship skill, but it focuses on a different aspect. But that would be Dead Can Dances Within the Realm of a Dying Sun. This is a mixture of neoclassical and dark wave music that's very emotive, full of despair, and will just engulf the listener from start to finish. And the musicianship skill about it that I admire so much is that it focuses more on the compositional aspect when it comes to their overall writing. Because the two members behind Dead Can Dance have more of a composer kind of mindset when creating music. Because when you look at the guest list of this album, there's like at least half a dozen people that contribute their talents to it with all the stringed instruments. But again, we admire the compositional aspect of the two main members thinking and writing all of this out, which again, it has to do more with this musicianship skill that's really at this masterful level. How I look at it when it comes to using the word masterpiece when discussing an album, it's not so much something that is considered to be your personal favorite or an album that you'll be listening to multiple times a week, every week. I feel like it has to do more with the fact that you're admiring the skills and talents of the artist that you consider to be performing a masterpiece. Like everything I've talked about thus far in this video that I consider to be a masterpiece, 
I'm admiring them in the sense of musicianship skill, what they're able to perform. It's something that only they could have thought and wrote with the talents that they have. But again, that's just my opinion on this take. I just look at it like it's a very powerful word that should only be utilized in the rarest of occasions for the most special of albums that are truly one of a kind. But I'm really curious to know what you guys think of it, what do you consider to be a masterpiece, and what are the details and merits for it. And th other than that, um, that'll do it for this video, guys. So like always, make sure you guys drink plenty of water to stay hydrated, and have a great day.